If you're building websites, then there's a very good chance yourself or your clients have been bombarded with spam emails, you know, like Eric Jones and all those other terrible spammers. I mean, they're a big headache, they're a pain that we have to deal with, and there are ways of blocking them. Now, there are ways like using plugins and Google Captcha, but I found something that works for me. I've been getting really good results on my Elementor forms without having to use a plugin or Google Captcha. What's up, everyone? I'm Jeffrey at Lightbox, and if you like videos like this, tips and tricks of Elementor and content on web design and web development, then make sure to subscribe, support the channel. It's much appreciated. All right, cool. I'm going to show you my trick, how I prevent almost all the spam coming through my Elementor mentor forms without having to resort to using Google Captcha or a third party plugin. We're going to use this form as an example and we're going to protect it against spam. So let's go over here to our edit with Elementor. And this right here, what I've been doing, I've been doing for myself and for our clients, and it has been about 80 to 90% effective almost all the time and protects the spam. And it's a really simple trick to do. So first go over to your form. And we're going to add honey pots. Right, you might have heard of honey pots before and might have stopped using them. I know I started using honey pots a few years ago. Now, really quick, let me just explain how spam works and how your websites are getting spam so much through the contact forms. There are bots crawling all of our websites, especially WordPress. WordPress websites get hit the hardest because 40%, over 40% of all websites are built with WordPress, and most of those are outdated and not taken care of right. So that means that is the biggest vulnerability out there online. So there's very great characters that like to create spamming bots and these terrible bots, well, they target the most vulnerable, which is WordPress. Now these bots like Eric Jones, they're going through everybody's website, and all they do is fill out the, the inputs and then send out the spam. The way the honey pot works is it's a hidden field. You see when I add it, it doesn't show here. And that is meant to throw off the bot. So that way, if the bot doesn't fill in the honey pot, then the message can't go through. It just gets rejected. But the bots got a bit smarter. Now they know about honey pots and honey pots haven't been effective. So I stopped using them. But then I got a tip and I heard this working for someone else and I tried it for myself. And for the last year, I've had a lot of good results with it. And that is to add about four or five honey pots, add a bunch of them. And we're going to add something here in the label. We're going to put something very familiar with contact forms. So for like this honey pot here, I'm going to put phone because it's a common field. And we're going to do this to try to trick the bot. So let me go ahead and duplicate this. I'm going to create five of them. And then I'm going to fill in things that are common on forms. All right, city, address, and just think of anything that you see on contact forms that a bot might pick up. All right, uh, country, oops, I spelled that wrong. can't type today. Okay. And then right here we'll do zip code. And that's it. This right here has been really effective for me. In fact, uh, I remember getting calls from clients saying we are getting tons of spam. And I went in, I added five honey pots in the spam stop. I have this on my own website. And now going forward, I put this on every single website I build with Elementor. I always add on four or five of these honey pots and it seems to do the trick. Now, this is a very good first step to protecting from spam. There are cases where maybe you need to add more protection. I would first start off with this, see if it's enough. If you need more, then you'd have to move on to something else. Something like Google Captcha, which I personally don't like to use. I, I don't like using Google Captcha on my sites. What I do like to use for the extra security and spam protection is clean talk. So if you do need that extra level, that extra layer of protection, clean talk has been the best solution that I found. And especially if you have a blog with comments, if you have a WooCommerce site with open reviews, you need to protect those with spam blockers and clean talk does an amazing job. My blogging site used to get just pounded with spam with all kinds of spam in the comments. It was terrible. As soon as I added clean talk, it all stopped. 
And that's it, it's really easy to do. In fact, every time I set up a contact form, I always now apply this method here because it does prevent most of the spam. Now, if spam does happen to still go through or if we are using a blog post with comments, WooCommerce with reviews, then definitely want to look at a solution like Clean Talk. It's a very good investment, but for a very basic website, this method right here really works well. I like to hear though what you are using to prevent your spam. How do you feel about Eric Jones? Do you know what? Let's talk about Eric Jones. Drop in inside the comment. How are you stopping him from getting into yours and your client's life? All right. Well, if you found this useful, then definitely give a thumbs up. And if you like content like this for web designers and web developers, then make sure to subscribe. It really does help support this channel. It's much appreciated. And I'll be back again soon. All right. Thank you for watching.